Hi, I'm Ken Oakland. I help people improve their lives through improved communication. I'm a former broadcaster, I run a ballet company, and I also work as a professional speaker. Let's talk today about preparing to give your speech. Here are three tips that you need to know before you get to the podium. Step number one, know your opening remarks. When you get up to speak, there's a few things that are working against you. First, you've got a lot of adrenaline racing through your body. It goes back to that old flight or fight response. In a few minutes, your body will calm down, but it's good that you really know your opening remarks very well so you can kind of smooth through that part of getting started while you have so much energy in your body. Know that opening part. Also, if there's any type of distraction at the beginning of your presentation, someone drops a fork, someone has a coughing fit, if you really know your material, those distractions will not throw you. So practice, practice, practice that opening minute or two of your material so when you get to it, you'll be able to knock it out of the park and then continue on with some good momentum for the rest of your presentation. It's important to be able to laugh internally before you give a presentation. Now, what I mean is, when you get up to speak, you'll probably be a little bit tense. So it's good right before you hit the microphone to have a little mental picture that chills you out a little bit. Let me give you an example. For some reason, I think back to that old show, Kojak, with Telly Savalas, and I remember his catchphrase was, Who loves you, baby? Now, just something about that always kind of cracks me up, loosens me up a little bit. So think if there's something else you could use, maybe a catch line from those Austin Powers movies, or maybe something your family has said or done. Something that relaxes you internally, gets you focused. It's almost like the tennis player who has the routine every time before they do a serve. It's all about repetition and routine and getting your mind in the right place for your presentation. Do you remember when you were young and maybe you were in the school play and you were a little nervous and you looked out in the audience and you saw your family sitting there cheering you on? You want to do the same thing when you're delivering your presentation. Odds are there is going to be at least one person who is really into what you're saying, giving you good reactions, body language, encouraging you along. Now, of course, you want to be looking out at your whole audience, but it doesn't pay every once in a while to go back to that person who you can tell is really getting what you're saying. Their enthusiasm will help fuel you on. Hey, sometimes you're going to have some people in the audience who just aren't enjoying what you're talking about. They might have some personal issues going on. They're not going to be cheering you on, but it may have absolutely nothing to do with you. Don't worry about those people. Instead, try to make sure you keep focusing on those people who are cheering you on. Today's advice was inspired by an article I wrote called Three Tips Before You Speak. To find out more about me, go to my website at www.kenokel.com. We will have more of these quick tips that can help you become a better communicator. Take care. I'm Ken Okel.